You are watching Car Wash with Sean Roberts and myself, Tiko Modise. You can listen to the full hour podcast on slradio.co.za or subscribe on Spotify, Google Play or Apple Podcasts to make sure you never miss an episode. Check out the video description for links. This is the Car Wash on Sakala Duma Radio. This is a Shangana Corner. Let's get into some uh, transfer business. Yes. Uh, so Quickly. starting with the uh, Stellies, right? Yeah. Granwell Scott in. Mm-hmm. Um... It's it's a it's a fortunate move for him. I, I don't think he's played much in the past eighteen months, has he? No. Nah. I mean, when I played with him at Ajax, I mean, he's a hell of a player. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Very injury prone, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, very good move for him. Yeah. I think he's only him. had two appearances for Sundowns this season in the league. So for uh, Sundowns, Sundowns. for what's it? Yeah, yeah. Wait, Chrono Skull. They signed him from for Vets. From Vets. From Vets. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Hello, take my notes. Wakey, 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 wakey. wakey. Notes. Oh, no. Is this thing on? But yeah, he hasn't. Yeah, it's a, it's a great move for him. Yeah, then, it is. And then we've got Karuru as well from Amazuru to um, uh, Stellenbosch. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Interesting. I mean, he, he played overseas for quite a while as well. He played in France. Karuru. Yeah. Uh, Zim International. Uh, interesting signing. Mm. Um, but lots of talk of who got Lucky Mahomi possibly going to Supersport. That's been on the t- cards for at least a season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he's there to possibly sweeten the Modiba Mokwena switch. Mm-hmm. Interesting whether it happens or not. I don't know. What do you think, Tex? If, if I'm Supersport, I'll give more zeros to those boys, mm. Mokwena and Modiba, and get back to winning ways and win trophies mm. and make Supersport a big team again. And uh, if it's for business, and then those are your two key players, mm. and they're very young, and uh, for you to actually get uh, quality players like them, you're gonna take forever. Yeah, you know, I think uh, for the boys, it will be great uh, new challenges. But reality is, where is Mukwena gonna play at Sundowns midfield? Yeah, you know, it doesn't have the Tembazwani flex or sure. Villa fix at uh, the Meza. So where is he gonna play? You know, it's going to be very, very difficult for him and he's going to get frustrated now. He's from Super Sport who is playing every game. Yeah. Going there to actually compete with the superstars of the country. It's going to... It's, Do you it's, think it's, it's a season or two seasons too early, possibly? I think it's a season too early. Yeah. He needs to wait a bit. You know, let him, let him develop as a as, as a player. Let him play in a senior team first. You know, yeah. Bafana, Bafana, let's see him there first. Because yeah. of the same challenges that you see in the uh, senior national team, you're going to face them at Sundowns week in, week out. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And Sundowns also in for knowledge Musona. You see? Which, Interesting. I can't see that happening though. But is that under the lip right now, right? They're also, well, they've been talking about Krobler as well. It's going to happen. Because nah. they need an out and out finisher, don't they? They won't, they won't, they won't, they won't sign Krobler. If Masimani comes out and say we are interested in Musola, trust me, it's going to happen. Yeah. You reckon, eh? Uh, Pizza wants um, just a natural finisher and that plays over the shoulder. Mm. When Kama so left, yeah. Pizza struggled to find somebody like that. Mm. So now you tried with your Meza, with Villa. They, they're still doing great, but they're not Kama when Kama was Kama. Mm. Musona's still doing that for the national team. Musona plays over the shoulder. He's quick. He shoots left and right. He's, he's fantastic. Yeah. And Pito One is there. Pito One's now, it, it's not looking at the PSL itself. It's looking at Champions League. Mm. What is it that I can do now? If I can play Afonso and Musona, I'm good. Afonso, flick. Musona, gone. Yeah. So he's he's looking at those habits, but he if he can get Musona, then I, uh, uh, it's a wrap. I wonder I wonder how much it's it's under let in Belgium that that where Musona is right now, right? So he's struggling for mm. game time. Mm. I wonder how much they would let him go for. Well, because, the problem is the transfer fee, right? Yeah, yeah. I think because they signed him for about one point two million euros. I know Sundowns is good for it, mm. but um, it's twenty million rand. Yeah, that's it's, a lot of money. Sundowns, guys. It's sundowns. It's Twenty million rand. It's what they pay for private jet to go and play Allah and come back. <laughs> <laughs> or we that. Yeah. Sundowns. I promise you, if they want that boy and that boy agrees, trust me, next season you'll see that boy playing at Sundowns. Yeah, guaranteed. Okay. Next season, not now. He might. Nah, not now. Not now. Mm. But mm. it might happen. Eh? You'll never know. And then uh, Sia, Let's see, bro. Sia Goboza had this in the Sia special. Uh, Who's Goboza? Daruk. Yeah. Uh, Maritzburg boy. Does he go to Paris? Does he go to Chiefs? He stays where he is for at least another season mm-hmm. because he's playing every single game. Thank you. We just spoke about this now with McQueen. Yeah. And yep. He's doing very well at an average team. He's standing out. Yeah. There's no reason for him. How old is he? 19, 20? 20, 20 21, 24. 22. Ah, come on. Yeah, he's still How quite young. He? 
Yeah, I, I think he's 24 years old. So there's no reason. Another full season at Maritzburg, and then you can look at your Pirates, your Chiefs, your whoever's yeah, still yeah. looking at Sundowns. Oh, he's good enough. Yes. And also, if, if he's in doubt that maybe that opportunity might go pre contract day, let me stay again another season in Marisbeck. Let yeah. him play there because you need to grow the certain, the certain stuff that he's still doing in Marisbeck that he can't get away with. Correct. With those bigger teams. So he needs to learn so much from Marisbeck. So I think it's just one more season, like Sean has said. Yeah. yeah. It will be good. But and he I'm is sure. a fantastic defender. And he'll learn a lot still more under Eric Tinkler as well. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, Eric's good, doing good a good coach. job. Yeah. Yeah. The good space coach. and time that Marisbeck to do mistakes and learn from them. You're going to Kaiser the Chiefs, the rook, you become emotional, you headbutt some of the red card, the team loses. Problem, DC. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> problem. Yeah, problem. Yeah. I know? think we should go. We should go through these expiring contracts. Yeah, yeah, real yeah. Quick. Um, I think we can. I think we can breeze through this. I want to actually yeah. go left, right. So I'm gonna go. Starting with you, Sean. Itumelen Kune, club legend. Injury problems. Sure. Probably an expensive renewal, if we're being honest. Does do you resign? It's such a big question, hey. Um, I resign. I re-sign him because he's Ituma Lankuna and he's a legend and I think he should retire at Chiefs. That's my personal opinion. Sure. Mm. Will they give him the money that he's on now? I highly doubt it. Mm. Um, will they come close to it? I hope so. Mm. I hope so. Mm. Um, I think he's good for it. He's just been obviously in the in the papers for the wrong reasons the past 12 <laughs> months. Not in the best of shape. I haven't been reading papers. So I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I think Chiefs should offer him a new contract and mm. I think they will. And then uh, moving down, Shompo Kekane. Of course, no doubt. Pah. He should, I mean, he has served sundowns with distinctions. Mm. You know, I think um, it's not even a question whether they need to renew him or not. It's just that for how long? Yeah. You know, it should be that conversation. He's, he's, he's good for, for me. He's, what's he, 34 now? Yeah. 35 maybe even? It's 34, 35. Yeah, he's think. good for another two years. Yeah. He's still, he's still running. He needs to retire there though. Yeah, yeah. He, he will. He needs to retire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He needs to retire there. Absolutely. And then, Anelen uh, Gonga. Yeah, same for me. I think he's good for another, at least one plus one. True. I think he's done well. See, speaking like an agent. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, Sean. See you. <laughs> I see you there, boy. All right, over at Marisburg, Sianda Kulu. How are you feeling about him? Look, um, if I'm Kulu, um, Marisburg gave me a chance when nobody did. You know, gave me a fresh start mm -hmm. and um, he done work under Murray's back. I think he should stay there. Um, the, the, yeah, man, I think he needs to stay there. You know, the, the, the need is experienced there at the back. Mm -hmm. And um, he shouldn't make the mistakes that he's done by rushing to move to big teams and blah, blah, blah. blah. You know, he has, he has done that. And uh, he he actually got recognition by still playing for Murray's back and he was in the national team. So Correct. I think he should just stay there. Well Murray's back need to renew him. That's it. Very nice. And then uh, we have uh, Morgan Gold. Yeah, Still it's... Still in Bosch. Yeah, it's... Um, Morgan's... He must be 36 now. Yeah, 35, 30, 36. 36. Eh? And I think what Morgan brings in the change room at Stellenbosch more than on the field is very important. Very important, yeah. Which is what Stellenbosch need. He struggled for pace. Um, I don't know if Stellenbosch are going to survive the way they've been playing. I really do hope they do. I mm. mean, being Cape Town based, mm. um, I'd give them another season. Yeah. All right. And then I think these ones are, this one is very obvious to me. Uh, Katande at Chiefs. Do you, are you going to let that guy walk away just? But, <sighs> Easy just. No, I think Katande should sign as well. Yeah. Um, but also the saddest part is like, we've seen how football has been in South Africa. It's, <clears throat> it's not as loyal as people think that it is, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I think with the way that he's played for the team, you know, he's given himself so much to the team. I think um, it's, even if he doesn't play as many games as he's mm -hmm. supposed to, but I think out of respect, should they should sign him. Yeah, I know. Katsanda is a, he's a magnificent human. You, you probably know him as well. Yeah. He's a great, he's great, a great guy. guy. And yeah. he's a hell of a pro. Mm. Like, you don't get many players like that. You, exactly. you never hear a bad about him yeah. yeah he's always on training on time first one there last one leave he's a, he's a good pro yeah i think it's good for another two years to be honest and then uh daniel akbei held down the fort fairly well for kune this season yeah very unlucky if he doesn't get offered a new contract yeah that's all i'm saying so that's a strong yes from me um a little bit up and down mm -hmm. in his performances but i think the pressure he was under and what he's done um yes definitely another two year for me yep 
Yeah. And then uh, George Maluleke. Yeah, he should sign that. But where yeah. is he going to go? Exactly. True. True. Crucial part of the midfield this season as well. Yeah, so I think. but Rian, he's, he's a different George from last season. Yeah, yeah. he is. He's, he's, he's out of that second gear and he's into third and fourth. Yeah, though. he's maturing. Yeah. And now if he has to go somewhere, he needs to start afresh. Mm. So you're okay with the Chiefs, my friend. Nice. And then uh, Opa Manisa. Tough one because he's injured, isn't he? Yeah, he's injured. A very bad injury. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where you're going to, what Teko was saying now about the loyalty of a team. Yeah. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Which is, um, yeah, it's, it's a tough one, eh? Tough I one. feel sorry for him, man. It's a nice. Yeah. At the moment, Quenfe, but I guess it's how quickly does he recover is, mm. the, is, the, yeah. is the big question. But I think Mamli Sundowns, even after you recover, they'll look at him before they actually get into negotiating. I think they'll look at what is it that he can actually still give, you know, after recovering. I think that's up to Opa how quickly he recovers and, and how bad he actually wants to be back on the pitch. Yeah, yeah I agree. Definitely. And then last one, uh, Sipele Lem Tembu, Cape Town City. How are you feeling, my dog? This chocolate is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> that answers that question. Yeah. Answer pending. Very nice. No? Plead the fifth. Your Honor. Is there another chocolate there? Please yeah. give another chocolate there. If uh, Teko moves his smoothie out the way. Teko, please move your smoothie out the way. I love the combo of chocolate and smoothie. The combos are communicating. You know? <laughs> no, I think, brother. let me be brutally honest with you. I think this season has, 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 has probably maybe brought, um, reality to Mtembo in terms of his career, in terms of where he should be. I think last season he had a great season and then it just dipped after that. And then now we are, Cape Town City struggling to get results, but the fact that he's not even selected or part of the team to play as a player, you should be asking yourself questions that, hey, my contract is about to finish and I'm not even considered to play and I'm a striker, we're struggling to score goals. So now it's up to Mtembu to get a new co Now you're playing for your contract now. From now until June, Mtembu should be training every day for a contract, making sure that he's in the team. When he's in the team, contribute more than anybody else because your contract is finishing. Mm. So now you want the team when the end of the season comes, you're like, I know he didn't do much, but when we needed him most, he showed up. So that's it. Because now, if 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 he doesn't do that, he's gonna to struggle to get a contract somewhere Benny, else. Benny, Benny quite liked him a lot, eh? Yeah, I did. Mm. He did. He did. He did. But it'll it be just... interesting to see what happens. Yeah, will be interesting. So you're watching the car wash with Teko Medise and myself, Sean Roberts. You can listen to the full one-hour episode on srradio.co.za or subscribe on Spotify, Google Play, or Apple Podcasts to make sure that you never miss an episode. Check out the video description for links. This is the car wash on Sakala Duma Radio. This is a Sangana Corner.